morning guys uh, it's a cold morning this morning <laughs> cold morning this morning it's about 34 degrees and it feels like 25 so i got all my layers on i got my big gloves on i'm feeling warm as if i'm sitting next to a fireplace i don't even have the heated grips on at level two so that's how this rivet jacket is actually with the inner lining and everything it's just fantastic so uh, that's where we are i'm just heading out for my morning uh, starbucks ride so hopefully people will show up uh, so
the suspension uh, travel has been reduced because of the low suspension, low chassis. Because finally, yes, you know, the seat is lower. So what do they actually do? So I figured out from a few sources. One is uh, Sean Smoke. He's a BMW mechanic up in Vancouver. Uh, so I had asked him a question, and pretty much. Uh, yeah, he finally figured out and uh, replied back to me. So basically what, what they've done is they've reduced the suspension travel by about 15 millimeters for the low chassis version. So that puts it at about, that's close to nearly, uh, you know, inch and a half, two inches. So if you see the uh, regular GSA suspension is 8.3 and uh, 8.7 the suspension travel front and back so now you, you come down to 6.3 and uh, 6.7 so now to compensate for it what they've done is they have pretty much made the suspension harder so i guess the first few inches of travel has been made tighter so that it won't be as soft as the regular gsa but it will not really affect you because after the travel it's going to have that about six inches of travel for you to actually do all your off-road stuff so that's what he says so basically he says that it's not affecting your uh, you know your actual performance on dirt but it's just that it's going to be really hard so which is all right you know i really don't care Camaro. I don't mind it. So, so that's what it is. So, which is which is all right. So, what they've done is they've made it easier for short guys like me with about 5'8", but uh, did not compromise on on the off-road capability, which is what I like about this bike. So, I think uh, that is uh, pretty useful information. So. So what I can do is I can actually uh, put the suspension on hard on these models. You can easily do that because it is soft, hard or normal. Whereas the, the newer ones nowadays have minimum, maximum and auto and all kinds of stuff which is electronically controlled. In the long run I probably don't like that because those kind of things will give issues. <laughs> so. I think uh, that'll, uh, so I keep it in hard if I want to go off-road, so that way, you know, it is going to be uh, really set up so that it's not going to uh, give any issues uh, for me if I need more travel than the 6.3 and 6.7. So I think uh, that's good, and in worst case, I guess, uh, the other difference is because of the height and the ground clearance is slightly lower because of the change in that. So the stand heights, the center stand and the uh, and the side stand are different because of the length of the arm is going to be you know, shorter for the low suspension chassis. So, uh, so just in case, if I needed to, if I think I'm totally comfortable <laughs> with this bike. I can actually switch the shocks and the stands and this will become a regular height bike. So that's the scoop on this whole low chassis thing. So you know if you feel you're really competent and you want the regular height you can always switch it back up. So for all you guys out there if you need or if you're debating whether to get a low chassis or not based on your height, you know, this is some useful piece of information. Another thing I've changed is, uh, you know, the uh, BMW has got uh, uh, multiple riding modes, so it's road, uh, rain, then Enduro, Enduro Pro, so I use the Enduro Pro this time in, uh, in the off-road, because it kicks off uh, ABS in the back wheel and also gives a little more uh, leverage, so that's, that's I guess, uh, that's the next step. So I'm pretty comfortable. Enduro is probably just gravel roads, but once you get into modern dirt, you need Enduro Pro. I guess only the pros go on the mud. <laughs> and another thing I did was on the street, there's something called road and then something called Dyna, 
which is uh, dynamic and it gives a little more uh, you know quicker uh, higher rpms when you you know twist the throttle it uh, it's much uh, more uh, reactive so I like that and pretty much in my cars and stuff I always like to sport more than sport packages so I've gotten used to the power on the bike now so I'm pretty comfortable using the dyna mode so it gives a little bit more pep when you accelerate uh, which is good so those are the other changes I've done in my riding style and uh, you know it's about oh it's, it's over a year now with this bike probably need to make a vlog on uh, my thoughts after a year of purchase of this bike I absolutely love it you know that's the best decision I've made I guess I guess that's what all the GS guys GS owners say <laughs> it's the best decision of my life but uh, seriously you know if you guys uh, don't own bikes or are planning on owning a bike you know it is uh, never too late or never too early to get one <laughs> Uh, because it's unbelievable, you know, it gives you something uh, you can enjoy, something you can, uh, you know, if you're interested in working on a bike, uh, that's another thing you can do, because a lot of my friends uh, buy used bikes, and you know, that can keep them busy for, <laughs> you know, months, so, and they have multiple bikes, and the bikes don't cost much, like a grand, two grand, and you can get bikes, and you can work on it, and it's so much fun if you're, into working i don't do that much of it because uh you know i think it's a lot of time and i'm not ready for that kind of commitment yet but uh you know that's something but but riding yes you know even just one bike i don't find enough time to ride i just put probably four thousand miles on this so that's <laughs> that's it's all right but no great shakes so, so uh you know nothing like the bikes and it's a lot of fun certainly uh, I think you guys should indulge in one don't be stupid it's not necessary to go fast you can enjoy the bike going slow speeds it's just the, the fun of it it's just uh, so much fun <laughs> and uh, especially in the back roads and off road and stuff so, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I would consider myself a beginner. I have probably you know, two years of riding bikes 25 years ago before this one, <laughs> doing a smaller bike. So, if you, you know, if you enjoy riding or driving, you know, I think uh, it's a skill you can pick up pretty easily. And there is no pass or fail, you know. You just go slow and you won't get into trouble. So not that difficult so it's uh, take all the training take all the gear all the gear all the time all the precautions and I think uh, you should be safe so uh, we're getting close to the star box <laughs> although I got some dirt on this bike so it's not necessarily a star box bike <laughs> see any bikes out there. Hopefully get that shown up. Otherwise oh, there is one. Of course. It has to be Graham. You know? Austin, how are you guys? <laughs> How's it going, Jim? <laughs> Pretty good. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. You're increasingly serious. You're a long way from finding your gas cap. I know, I know. <laughs> Thanks to you guys, I've been. Uh, it, it's been a fun ride. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get it. Oh, yeah, she went for the high-vis helmet. 
Highways. <laughs> Why? Where do you see the highways? <laughs> yeah, Hang on. I got my wires though. <laughs> So heading back up north. <laughs> yeah, they off the waistline. <laughs> I guess you are as well, huh? Yep. Yeah. So you're showing up for the uh, show next week? Next week? Uh huh. I don't know. I was a bit disappointed by it last week. Oh no, but I think this time is going to be good. Uh, hopefully we got all the new bikes. Do you have the Shinkos on the back? No. Are they the 705s yeah, or the 805s? Later. 705. Say See you later, Jim. See you later. sign up right here and uh, we will see you guys next time I think we're going to be going off uh, for the uh, auto show uh, not the auto show the motorcycle show so I'll probably either ride or take the train with these guys and then um, that's what it's gonna be and I will talk to you guys later bye then <laughs>